Hello, Bane Farm fans. This video was filmed on May 20th. In the previous video, um, with the chickens, I broke the belt on the mower deck. So we got to start out here by replacing the belt on this 914A mower deck. And it's, it takes me uh, a few seconds to figure it out because, of course, we took the belt off to make sure we got the proper size belt. And I didn't remember how it snaked through there. I figured it out. Um, and by snake, I mean snake. It's very easy to have excess belt than it is to be short on belt because you got to weave behind every pulley you know, to make sure everything is all hooked up. So eventually we figure it out there. Uh, yeah, they they really did some work to use one belt to run this deck. Um, it's a 60 inch deck that goes underneath our TC30. It's I I uh, um, I abuse it obviously. Um, as we saw, I broke the belt. You're kind of going out into where we uh, had cut trees and cut a root. Um, but I guess I can do that because it is a, a heavy built deck. It's not stamped steel like your little lawn mowers. Uh, this thing's built like a tank. It's wonderful. To the point that I usually only mow grass around here once a month. Now, I greatly dislike mowing grass because of, let's say, the time it takes and the income that it does not generate. Um, I think mowing grass is, is a Big waste of time. If I could, I'd mow the whole yard for hay. Everything around the farm can or will pay for itself eventually, like with the animals and the grains and the vegetables and the hay. Uh, but mowing the grass just looks good. Obviously, we're going to do maintenance to the house and the barns, and that's all good. Uh, but the yard's going to grow this year. It's going to grow next year, regardless of whether it gets cut or not. And it's going to keep growing, and it's never going to stop, except for when it's freezing cold or really, really dry. So we got it flipped up here. We're putting new blades on it too. Finally did a little bit of maintenance. They needed, it needed new blades. They were beyond sharpening. Uh, amazingly, these blades are only held on by friction. There's no splines. So when the, the only thing that holds it, I guess you could say, is the tightness of the bolt. Uh, everything is round. Now we're getting ready to head to... Uh, we're getting ready to put the deck on. This is always exciting because I never do it the same way twice in a row. I'll put it in from the left or the right, and it's designed to really only go one way, but somehow I can snake it in there. And it's kind of difficult uh, having the agriculture tires on instead of turf tires, because I think the real farm tires are a larger diameter than the turf tire option. Yeah. Okay. Um, it just pushes in the side, gonna swing down the lift arms, put the pins in, and eventually I'll reach back in the very back to put the drive shaft on. The, the tractor has a mid PTO. Yep. Uh, which makes this really fun is that the tractor's gear drive, and I will get into that later in the video. But being gear drive, it has a live PTO. So when you shove in the clutch, uh, the tractor stops and everything that it's powering stops. Uh, so that's that's exciting. Good news is when you want to stop, everything stops with one pedal. Yep, there goes the drive shaft, reaching way back in there. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not like a quick attach loader. This is a little more work pushing and pulling it. Uh, hmm. But it went fairly smooth this time. It helps when the surface is smooth. Six. We haven't put new blades on that deck in 10 years really helps when they're sharp. Let's you mow faster. We'll see that here in a second. First, let's examine the lawn. Now, what do we have? Well, we're down here at sidewalk level. You can see how tall the grass is. Now, we could about make hay out of it. And mowing the yard is like one of the most useful things. You gain nothing from it other than, I guess, feeling good. You have a short grass. And you've rat raced yourself against the Joneses to keep your lawn short. Woohoo. Yeah, no monetary gain. 
Um, so, you know, I usually end up uh, mowing it, let's see, one summer I mowed it once a month. We're probably going on three weeks right now. It, it, I usually don't do it any more often than two weeks. And it's so great having the TC30 because I can practically bush hog with it. In fact, that's kind of how I uh, broken that belt. Trying to cut a uh, spot or cut a path for the chicken fence. Snap the belt. Nice and clean. Hit a hit a root. Yeah, I hit a root. I was sticking up out of the ground and just stopped the deck right now. Broke the belt. Put new blades on it. Saw that. So let's cut down this mess and see how how well our brand new blades do. Let's take a tour around the house as we mow. Yep, we're gonna turn the PTO on, pick a gear, check height on the mower deck, slowly start and then give it the juice. PTO speed on the TC30 is roughly 2400 RPM. Well, I bet some of you are going to love my driving. Oh, I just take big loops. I'm not going to back up too much. You know, it's, it's the joy of the live PTO on the gear drive. Every time I shove the clutch and everything stops. So as much as possible, we're going to go for continuous motion and not have to stop. Ooh, that's a bad move. Hope it didn't grow too much grass in the mom's flower beds. She will let me know if I do that. So as we go in circles here, um, starting at the house, I'm going to blow the grass away. I did a lot of the weed eating first. I am I like doing the detail work first because it, it really seems tiring to do it last. So it feels good that once we do like the big bulk, bulk of the work of mowing, that we're actually done. Instead of, oh, we mowed a whole bunch, but we still got to weed eat around the edges and the sidewalks and the trees and everything else. Good thing I'm not going for a striped lawn pattern, because, uh, well, that's not going to go well if I keep doing these circles. This is about to get real fun, this lilac bush. This lilac bush has been next to the house for a hundred years. Um, it's in a photo, a black and white photo that we have of our house from the settling family of the property back in the uh, late 1800s. Well, that didn't go well. Stupid branch. And for the life of me, I want to tame this bush, but Mom likes the lilac bush a lot, so it kind of gets to stay and doesn't get trimmed back like I want it to, which may not be healthy for the bush, but it would make it really nice to mow up there. So the, the TC-30 is... I'm sure they'd call it 30 horse at the flywheel so it might be 25 by the time that you get to the draw bar but then you got to realize it was made in Japan so they're overrating stuff anyways so you got to treat it more like a low end of 20 even though like you, we have the 28 and 29 10 Fords and from the factory those were rated somewhere from 35 to 40 but there's twice as much of those tractors as there is to this little Nihon. Granted, it's powerful. The tractor has enough power to strip the override clutch. Don't ask me how I know that, but I've actually done it with the mower deck. Um, since it has live PTO, it, it has what would be called a spread clutch in the drive line for PTO. So that when, say, you're bush hogging or using some other device with momentum, when you shove in the clutch, the tractor will stop, even though the implement wants to keep turning. Well, I found out the, the, the TC-30 has enough power uh, to strip that out when you're bush hogging two-foot tall grass out in the field with the 914A mower deck. They don't recommend that, but I did it. I found out the hard way and got to learn about the inside of this tractor transmission. Yeah, now, the TC-30 dates, or starts out, say, dating back to the 70s when Ford uh, made a deal with uh, Shibara in Japan 
about building little tractors, and the TC-30 is what has evolved from that partnership. It's really a great little tractor. Um, when traded for the world, we do a lot of stuff with it. Running an auger, mowing grass, moving wagons around. I've raked tape with it before. Um, I'd try to do anything with it. And eventually we'll see, I even go out and cultivate sweet corn with it. Yes, that's coming up hopefully here soon. Uh, we are about a, a, we're a little behind on videos, but we'll get caught up as we have rainy days and now that planting's over. I'm not so tired. Time to kind of do a before and after look. See how we're doing, see what we're starting with, and see uh, what the end result is. We'll hop down here, take a look at this lovely grass action. Now this ain't a nice clean golf course cut, but I guess it's better than that mess. And hopefully this looks better on camera than, it, than I think it looks. Yep, nice and tall, everything's... Well, we're definitely getting uh, reseeding the lawn well, because it's gone to seed. We mowed at the beginning of the month. This is May 21st, so it's solidly been three weeks. Don't want to don't wanna mow too often. I'm not quite taking a full cut. I'm mowing in medium. That's medium range. One. This is a three-speed, yeah, it's a gear, it's a gear transmission, yes. So I'm mowing, oh, there's no speed chart on this. I don't know how fast I'm mowing, but, uh, you know, maybe a couple miles an hour. One, medium one feels fast when you're mowing grass, especially with a tight lawn like this. I mean, really, the TC30 is oversized for our needs, except for the fact that I can get away with mowing once a month. It's great. I mean, it, I'm sure every manly man... Uh, um, that didn't sound manly at all, but you know those Hank Hills out there sell propane, propane accessories, and you gotta mow your lawn every week and have it nice and clean and green. Well, uh, we, we hack this, hack our lawn off. Looks great for about a week. Looks overgrown for a week, and then it looks really, really overgrown for another week, and then we hack it down. If the yard was bigger, which, what would be the point of having a bigger yard? Ideally, I'd only have to mow like two or three laps around the house. That's all the yard we'd have and the rest would be something else. But I didn't. we didn't lay this out. We uh, acquired the farm as it is. So this is the before, kind of the middle of the after. This will get a double cut and trim it up. The new blades are doing pretty good. Uh, we're getting grass everywhere. And uh, well, it's not too wet. That's another thing that gets me is these lawn companies that are out there mowing right after it rains or first thing in the morning. One thing I was always taught was not to mow wet grass because it doesn't go well you'll plug the deck 
Who knows why they do that? But this thing has got like a bush hog for a deck. Quarter inch plate deck. It's not going anywhere. I've done a lot of bush hogging with it. I wouldn't call it mowing the grass. It's, it's straight up bush hogging, but it does a nice job. Yeah, so I let everybody be amazed by the fact that this is a gear drive mowing grass. Just keep moving forward. Don't back up. So I had to do a little more touch up weed eating before we could call it a lawn mowing party complete. And you know, you know, mowing up here by the house, got like the walkway and the driveway. And we're gonna use a fun new toy I got for Christmas. I've used it some. A lovely Milwaukee leaf blower. We're gonna, we're gonna blow the grass off the driveway, because we can. So everybody uh, get ready to hear a jet engine take off. Well, if it wasn't for the fact that I drove here a dozen times on the grass and plastered it to the, to the concrete, it would be pretty good. A little loud, but uh, you don't hear a gas motor, you just hear the fan move in the air. Seems like the GoPro can withstand hurricane force winds. Unless we go straight at it, right at the barrel. So we'll catch you guys later with more fun farming action. Yeah. 